So today is Friday and my surgery was on December 20th. So it's been just a little over two weeks. Um, I was actually able to get my, uh, I don't know what you call it, kind of your bandage that goes over the incision that they did. I was able to get that removed yesterday. As far as the pain and the mobility, the mobility actually is going really well. My physical therapist, I have two more visits, uh, but I start my physical therapy at, uh, you know, an offsite location next Tuesday. Uh, but he said, I'm actually doing really well. I'm doing good range of motion. I have to be honest with you. <laughs> This is not for the faint of heart. It is very painful. Um, just, you know, imagine trying to, you know, you get a broken arm and instead of getting put in a cast, they tell you you have to keep bending it so it heals. That's really what it's like. It's just super painful. But every day is a little bit better. Um, I'm actually still sleeping on the recliner because laying flat in the bed is just, it's really hard to get in a comfortable position for my knee. So I've been sleeping in the recliner since I've had the surgery. My goal is I'm gonna try Sunday to get back in the bed and see if that's any better. Um, I haven't slept good the last couple of nights just because I've had a lot of aching and uh, pain in my knee. But the therapist told me and the nurse called yesterday, said this is all normal. It's all part of the healing process. And, um, you know, it, you're gonna have good and bad days. So I think today actually is probably one of the harder days I've had. I don't know, I've just had a really hard time managing the pain. Um, it was a really difficult physical therapy session yesterday. Um, you know, my physical therapist is very good. The person who comes to my house, he's, you know, very kind, very nice, but he's also like, you know, pushes you pretty hard. <laughs> so, um, you know, he says that he sees a lot of good progress, that I'm doing excellent, but it, it's still difficult. Um, so I think any suggestions that I would give for people going through this is, just have the mindset before you have the surgery that regardless of what you've heard or what anybody tells you, just know that it's gonna be up and down. You're gonna have good, you're gonna have bad days. Um, the medication is there to take. You know, initially when I started this journey, I thought, I'm not taking any heavy narcotics. I don't wanna take them. I'm afraid of getting addicted to them. I'm just doing Tylenol. <laughs> That lasted like a couple of days. <laughs> Once all my, um, you know, epidurals and nerve blocks and all that wore off, it's like, okay, where's the Oxycontin? <laughs> so I've actually been a lot better about trying to take, I don't take it regularly. I could take it like every four hours, but I don't. Instead, I, like this morning, I did have to take one. I'm just, I'm in a lot of pain. I didn't sleep very good last night. So I took one. I can take two every four hours. I took one 
and I hadn't taken one since yesterday before I did the physical therapy. So I am trying to take one at this point before I do the physical therapy about an hour before, because you're just, you're bending a knee that has been operated on. There's just no way it's gonna feel good. It, it hurts and then it hurts afterwards. So if you can take your medication, your pain medication, like maybe an hour before you have your therapy session, at least for the first, you know, three, maybe even four weeks. I'm thinking maybe by week three, I'll be at a point I can just take Tylenol before I do my exercises. But we'll see. I'm not going to beat myself up if I still have to take an Oxycontin every now and then. Um, so that's about it. That's how things are going this, uh, this week. I'm over the two week mark. I'm headed towards three weeks and I'm, I am pretty happy with the progress that I'm making. I'm getting along pretty good. I'm at this point, I still have, am not able to drive a car because I just don't think my reflexes are good enough and my knees not still bending the way it should. But um, this Sunday, I am going to try a shopping trip to Winco. Now, I'm going to use a scooter. They have them there when I go to the store. So I'm going to try that. And hopefully, you know, I can at least get out a little bit. I've been in the house the last couple weeks and I'm definitely stir crazy. So, but I'm getting along fine. And uh, I just want to encourage everybody who is maybe going through something similar or is at a point where they're going to be getting some type of knee surgery, um, just to give yourself some grace, you know, let yourself heal. Don't overdo it, push yourself. But as I said before, don't push too hard. You don't want to injure yourself. And this is in no way any kind of medical advice. I'm not a doctor or anything. This is just kind of a journal of what's working for me. So uh, feel free to leave comments below. I'm trying to write back to everybody who has questions or is going through a similar experience. And uh, I hope that this new year of 2024 brings us all a lot of good health with our bones and our healing. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say thank you again for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as part of my Homestead Patch family. So take care, everybody. Have a great Friday, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.